Some data has a shelf life. The value of data deteriorates when it is no longer needed or useful. As the last time a constituent engaged with your organization gets farther and farther into the past, the data associated with that account becomes less and less valuable. So how do you clean up or even delete inactive accounts that are no longer valuable to your organization? Cleaning up and potentially removing accounts is a process you should consider performing once a year. This process is an e-tapestry best practice because a clean mailing list or email list of active constituents will increase your conversion rates, decrease your cost per appeal, and improve the overall effectiveness of your marketing efforts. Also, your eTapestry database becomes easier to manage and the quality of your data increases when accounts in your database are actively engaged with your organization. Your eTapestry license is based on the number of accounts in your eTapestry database. Cleaning up inactive accounts is a great way to manage your annual software license and keep the number of accounts within your subscription. Cleaning up and potentially deleting inactive accounts from your eTapestry database is a major project. The cleanup process should be well thought out. Taking great care during this process will ensure that whatever actions you take don't impact the integrity of your database. The first step in cleaning up your accounts is identifying what is considered an old or inactive account. The definition of inactive will vary widely from organization to organization. It is important to develop a list of conditions that are specific to you. It is best to write out the definition of an inactive account before you continue with the next steps in this process. For example, if you identify donors that haven't given in the last five years to be inactive, then write down that condition. Draft a complete list of conditions for your inactive accounts before moving on to the next step. The next step in this process is to build queries to capture these old or inactive accounts. You will need to build a separate query for each condition and determine how many accounts exist within each segment. Keep in mind that each query will be exclusive of the other queries you build for each condition, so expect duplication. Create a compound query to see an unduplicated list of accounts that are inactive based on your conditions. Confirm that the accounts contained in your queries and based on your conditions are the ones you want to clean up. Do not proceed to the next step until you are 100% certain you captured the correct accounts. The final step in this process is to decide how to clean up these older and active accounts. Approach this final step with caution. Some of the cleanup options in this step are irreversible. Review each option carefully and be sure you understand the implications of each before proceeding. Cleaning up inactive accounts doesn't always mean deleting them. Your organization may want to add a user-defined field to the constituent account profile that identifies these accounts as inactive. Using the queries you built to identify inactive accounts, you can mass update each query with the inactive field value. Now you can exclude accounts from communications lists using this inactive field value. Instead of using mass updates to flag accounts as inactive in bulk, you can be more selective with a mass edit process. Add the same user-defined field to the constituent account profile and export all or some of your accounts to Excel and edit each account's row by flagging certain accounts as inactive. You can modify all accounts in the Excel file or selectively choose some accounts and not others. Then simply re-import the data back into eTapestry to assign this inactive value. Now that you've categorized all inactive accounts into a single compound query, you can simply exclude those accounts from all future communications lists. Use the subtract compound query logic to subtract your inactive accounts query from your target list of accounts for your mailing list. Now, if you want to remove accounts altogether, you can manually remove accounts one by one from eTapestry. Export the records for any accounts you plan to delete from eTapestry before you start this process. 
You'll want to archive the data in your organization's shared drive to ensure the data is available if you ever need it in the future. To delete an account, go into each account you want to delete and select Delete Role from the Account Settings page. This will permanently delete the account from your eTapestry database. It is important to note that deleting an account is an irreversible action. Deleting accounts in batch is also an option. However, we recommend this option only after careful consideration and only after you archive all of the data that you plan to delete. This process is quicker than deleting accounts one by one, but can be more damaging if it isn't planned out beforehand. Many organizations choose to flag accounts as inactive instead of mass deleting accounts in order to maintain the integrity of their database. Mass deleting accounts in your organization's database is an irreversible action. It's important to keep your eTapestry database clean and healthy. Account data gets old and can weigh down your eTapestry database. We recommend taking action to clean up old account data once per year. With many options to consider when cleaning up older and active accounts, your organization should think through your intended path first. Be sure to outline what is considered an inactive account and how you will proceed with the cleanup process before taking any action. At Sidekick Solutions, we are consultants that specialize in eTapestry. Spend your time focusing on what matters to you while we handle your database and help you get the most from it. Do you have questions about eTapestry? Explore more best practices on our website at sidekicksolutionsllc.com forward slash eTapestry or contact us today at info at sidekicksolutionsllc.com.